Look at this, there are 4,152 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP Elite, I took your suggestion, I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. It's more than 10 X, he more than 10 X his money in the group. This person, I'm up $10,000 in the last week. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos, you'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. If you came into cryptocurrency to make life changing money, but you haven't made it yet, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to keep you updated daily on the news that moves the market. Bitcoin technical analysis, altcoin setups to help you make profits. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin has pulled back to 10,800. This is a one hour chart. You can see that Bitcoin got rejected at about 11,100. If you look, there's a falling wedge. 68% chance of a break to the upside here. Okay, and it is breaking higher. Now the question is, needs to break this overhead resistance. Will we see one more move higher, one more leg up? The measured move of this initial pattern was 11,200. You know, you, you, it's hard to bet against Bitcoin right now until Bitcoin breaks down below 10,550, okay? Right now, down here on the MACD, you've got a bullish MACD cross that's being confirmed. Essentially, you've got, if you look at the RSI, you've got a falling wedge forming. So, you know, it's possible that you see the price action uh, continue down in this pattern. So maybe one more dip lower. As it moves down to uh, this oversold level, you know, essentially you see a breakout to the upside, right? 68% chance these break to the upside. You know, so just you have to use all the tools in order to be super successful in this market. But this is a Bitcoin daily chart. Here you've got your high, your lower high, and, and essentially the bulls need to print a higher high here, right? Everything changes as soon as this happens. And so if you see the price action break above this 11,600 level, it would essentially negate all this, this bearish idea that we've been talking about. Price action would be back in the pattern. We'd probably see a big spike, a big move to the upside. You know, we could see 12, 13, $14,000 Bitcoin if this does happen now. The bearish scenario is, you know, the bulls get rejected here and then you get a break below uh, 10,500, 10,550. And then there's, you know, significant downside ahead for Bitcoin at that point. So I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person stated, he, it was cool. He shared his story. He had a gym in, in New York and, and things just didn't work out because of the current panic situation. And he said, you know, I pulled your trigger on your program for five days. I watched videos and I looked at the charts and your recommendations. And I placed my first trade since joining the team. And he pulled the $1,330 profit in a six hour span. There's a lot of people in the trading group, a lot of people that watch the channel. I mean, they're making more money trading this market than they were working. They're making more money, but maybe the panic situation's taken away their income and they're trading crypto and they're providing for their family. So that's pretty outstanding. This person stated, 
your information is gold. I started with $18,000 and now I'm at $28,000. This person said, wow, what a day, 112% gains. I'm very important to watch Bitcoin. There, this is a pivotal point uh, for Bitcoin. We're going into the weekend. We could have scammy price action city over the weekend. However, there's a good probability because the alts have been getting wrecked and, and Bitcoin might take this weekend off, you know, just kind of do nothing. That's what the altcoins want Bitcoin to do. Do nothing. These altcoins will run for the weekend if that happens. So there's $15 billion in USDT and the tether market cap is out of control. Out of control. Third largest crypto is a stable coin. What does that tell you? There's a bunch of people ready, holding tether, ready to dump a bunch of money into this market. Bitcoin takes off. However, you have to think, well, it could also be that these exchanges are stockpiling Tether because, you know, a massive pullback in Bitcoin or a continued pullback in Bitcoin. People need a safe haven. Bella comes out and instead of announcing or conducting an auction for BEL, they're going to airdrop 2 million Bella to ARPA holders. They're going to do this multiple times. So total amount of airdrop tokens is 2 million BEL, which is equivalent to about 6.5 million US dollars based on the current market price. Now, the first snapshot is going to be on September the 30th. So there'll be possibly some type of run up uh, to this date. But remember, traders do take profits. So sometimes th there's a, a, a run up just kind of depending on what Bitcoin does. Sometimes there's a run up where essentially you make more on the run up than you would on the airdrop. So keep that in mind. Zillica has introduced their brand new non custodial Zill staking portal. It's called Zillion. Uh, are you a zillionaire yet? Public beta testing. Don't want to be a zillionaire. Public beta testing will begin soon. So stay tuned to this space. Stake with Zill. Uniswap. Wow, dude. I'm sure you guys, this has all happened last night after I got the video out. Groups going crazy. All of crypto's going crazy. YouTube videos all over the place. I just want to give you a play-by-play -play on what happened. It was it was phenomenal. If you haven't got in on this airdrop or, or on this the free giveaway for uni, uh, we'll talk about that too and, and how you can get your essentially government stimulus size payouts. If you used Uniswap ever, then you're potentially eligible eligible for 400 uni, which people were selling in my trading group for $1,200. You know, $1,200, nice little government stimulus leveled uni giveaway. So Uniswap protocol said, hey, we're thrilled to announce uni is Uniswap protocol governance token is now live on Ethereum mainnet. And then there was a bunch of problems. It was kind of a disaster because everybody's on Twitter. I mean, you got to go, if you go to Uniswap protocol, at Uniswap Protocol on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, crypto BTC underscore Chris. I'm going to retweet this so you can go to this link. Make sure and go to the legitimate links. There's a bunch of scams out there. Make sure you go into the actual Uniswap Protocol Twitter page. The deal is this there, everybody's going all in on Uniswap in a second. Like it gets released, boom. Remember, this is the decentralized exchange that's doing more that has done more volume than coinbase in a day in a day in a day it's, it's it's trumped what coinbase has built over the years okay so that's how much hype is behind this coin a lot of people are selling it you know is that the smart idea i mean there was a pretty big pump a pretty big pump, 10x 10x pump this thing 10x immediately now okx goes all in on uniswap's new token amid soaring DeFi fees and boy we're going to talk about these DeFi fees in a second but it's getting out of control so the yeah uniswap when it was on binance it 10x it was three dollars and 31 cents think about it you get 400 of these guys and essentially you're selling it for i mean 1300 dollars if you sold it right here 1300 bucks for a free uni giveaway now people are going to say but if you hold it if you hold it, it's going to be worth, you know, $10,000 or, or $100,000 or, hey, you know what? There's nothing for sure in crypto. But what we do know is 10x pumps. Hey, a lot of times I'll take profits on this 
and see how it works out. You know, you, I do not nail the top on a lot of these moves. I just don't nail the top. I don't nail the bottom. I don't care. I make the money in the middle. I make the money in the middle. It's kind of like football. You know, all the hard work and the grunt work and, and the money is made in the trenches between the goal lines. Same thing with crypto. Coinbase comes out and they say Uniswap is going to be listed on Coinbase Pro. Coinbase Pro, Binance, OKX, immediately list Uniswap. Hype, 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 hype. Buy the hype. I mean, you got to let it settle down. Never buy pump. Never, never. Do not be a pump chaser. Do not chase this nonsense. There is a coin probably already came out right now. And, oh, looks like it's Maker. So, huge pump group. Huge pump group. Just picked Maker and Tika. And it's probably pumping crazy right now. But it's not sustainable to be a pump chaser. Now, so Maker is probably pumping. Don't get caught up in that mess. You can make money, but you lose a lot of money real fast. These are some from the chat group uh, in my group. This person sold 400 uni for $1,200. Free money. Stoked. It's like the government you know, in the United States. Uh, adults got sent 1200 bucks. Well, uni, Uniswap just gave it away for free. This person sold their Uniswap, 400 of them, for three Ethereum. Thank you, Uniswap. I got three Ethereum, two for free. This person tried to sell 100, gas prices went up too fast, and the transaction got stuck. There's a ton of this, like failed transactions, people couldn't. This person, against my advice, said, I bought Uni at $2.75 and I sold it at $3.50, thanks to Chris's group and videos. I, listen, don't get caught up. <laughs> Do not get caught up in, in chasing these pumps. Remember, with Uniswap, you have to have used Uniswap before right? Or you will not get any. People are trying to figure out, do I hold it or I sell it? Everybody's trying to claim it. Uniswap does more volume than Binance. So the market cap should be in the billions, this person said. What makes sense and what's rational isn't always what's actual in cryptocurrency, right? But what's crazy is look at these transaction fees. This person paid $15 or $19 uh, for the transactions this person paid 15 this person paid 19 normal gas fees to claim this person paid 16 this person paid 16 I, this person paid 25 it's worth it for 1200 dollars free uh, this person th paid three times on three different transactions this person said the transaction didn't even go through however you know 1200 bucks it's a nice little Nice little payday, you know. Announcing Polka Starter raised $875,000 to launch Polkadot-based decentralized exchange. Do you guys see anything, any commonality here? Binance Dex, Polka Dex, like Unidex. Dexes are popping up everywhere. This is going to change the way we trade crypto. There are so many hoops that we have to jump through to use these exchanges, these centralized exchanges. And these de decentralized exchanges completely will change a lot of what's happening in the crypto space. But Polkastarter, they've got backers including Moonrock Capital. Listen, that is, if, if I have an investment company, it's probably going to be called Moonrock. <laughs> NGC Ventures, Signum Cap Capital, Astronaut Capital. I mean, Moonrock and Astronaut invested in you. I mean, at least you've got a better chance, right? At least you want to advertise that Moonrock and Astronaut are, are invested in your company or in your idea. Pokestarter, they had more than $20 million in private sales allocated. There's a lot of people that watch this channel, a lot of people in crypto that are on Coinbase right now. And they're, and they're holding Bitcoin and some Ethereum and some Litecoin and they're just waiting. They're just waiting for the moon mission. And what I would say is you have to, sometimes you have to see the future. So as an example, this is the 90 year old inventor of the ATM and he celebrates the 50th anniversary of the ATM. And he admits his wife has never even used an ATM. Okay, so this is for the non-believers in DEXs, in the hype, in the small cap, altcoins, into DeFi. Listen, 50 years from now, <laughs> Man, listen, in crypto, let's get to next year. Next year, we'll look back and we'll think about this idea. 
people thought this gentleman was nuts. He said, why, why, why would we need a cash machine? The bank said, why would we need a cash machine? People could just walk up and use it. Anybody could just walk up and use it. Why, why would that even make any sense? I don't, I don't think so, said the banks. We have tellers. We've got tellers, gonna, they, they can do the exact same thing that these ATMs do. And again, the banks shut them down. The, the reaction of the banks was they just didn't want to hear it. Don't let these new ideas in cryptocurrency fall on deaf ears. Don't shun them, right? Because you might have the biggest opportunity of your lifetime staring you in the face, and here you are, holding Bitcoin, holding Ethereum, holding Litecoin. Now, to be fair, there's a ton of money being made and a ton of money being lost in DeFi, small caps. But there's a ton of money being lost and made in the large caps too. Pick your poison sometimes in crypto. This is this market's very seasonal, very seasonal, very cyclical, very cyclical. And so you, again, you do not want to ride these downtrends on these coins, any of them. We've got a lot of crazy things ahead of us in crypto. In 2014, there was an XLM airdrop as an example. Nobody even cared about it. At that point, XLM was less than a fifth of a penny. Everyone sold the airdrop and essentially they could have bought the, a cup of coffee with the amount of money that they made off the airdrop. They didn't even care about it. Then in 2017, XLM was 90 cents at its peak. It 450 x So a thousand dollars worth of XLM in 2014 would have made you $450,000 life-changing money. Now, ironically, XLM is stable at about eight cents. People would say, but this is about mainstream adoption. They would argue, they'll argue with me tooth and nail that this market's about mainstream adoption. And I would say, you know what? People, these, these are the greatest projects in the world when, they're, when the prices are going up. And everybody hates them when the prices are dropping. Everybody's like, dude, this, this is, that's just how crypto works. As greed comes in, speculation comes in, and hype. People are completely, it's like a feeding frenzy. Uni, Uni drops, Uniswap drops these free coins, and, and, and the, the crypto groups go crazy. Like I was, I was on Telegram, I was watching, and it was a, a feeding frenzy. Like all rational thought processes, gone. It was greed, 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 greed. Greed will get you wrecked in crypto, remember. Bears make money. Bulls make money. Pigs get slaughtered. Do not be a pig. Now, a lot of people are talking about this obvious short. People don't even, they're like, I, I can't even, my, my rule set, my, my trading strategy says I have to take this shorting opportunity. Obvious to short Bitcoin here. Essentially what they're saying is, you know, Bitcoin's going to run up here and it's retesting this previous uh, support level and previous pattern unless it breaks above 11,600 and validates this idea, people are shorting Bitcoin here. So this comes, this is an obvious short. Is it too obvious? Because what happens when these obvious, these shorts are too obvious, you get these short squeezes or you get these huge price spikes in Bitcoin and people essentially open up long positions to cover their shorts. And so will we see some type of short squeeze or is this already? I mean, a lot of shorts are getting wrecked just right here because they expected for more downside. Now, ideas that would invalidate this idea would be a close, say, break and hold above 11,200. Measured move, previous head and shoulders confirmation line. So that's why this is a key level to watch for Bitcoin. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.